Our next guest helps you drive without limits. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we're going to find out exactly how she does that. She's a vice president for sales and marketing with a company called K40 Electronics. Rachel Clark. Rachel, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. A lot of activity at the K40 exhibit here on that's the right. show floor. Tell me a little bit first about what K40 is, the okay. company, and then let's get into some of the cool stuff that you're showing and not showing. Stay tuned and you'll know why I asked that. I see what you did there. <laughs> see what I did? Yeah, that's why I get the medium bucks as the host. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> uh, so K40 Electronics, we manufacture high-end custom installed radar and laser defense systems. Mm -hmm. And we sell them to specialty retail stores, which is why we're at Knowledge Fest. Sure. And the specialty retail stores installs these beautiful radar and laser defense systems into high-end Lexus, Mercedes, Porsche, BMW. And something that is trending in the last couple of years uh, is really to see the Ford F-150 and the Chevy Silverado tick up to be our top two and three really most custom installed system vehicles which so, is so super while surprising you, while you'd think it would be some of these high-end sedans that you mentioned That's earlier right. these pickup trucks are really becoming more and more interested the owners of obviously in these uh, unbelievable radar and laser detectors so for our audience listening on the radio and watching the video of, yes. of Rachel, and do check out some of the B-roll, if you will, some of the other stuff that Chris shot in their exhibit here. Yes, and please. And really cool stuff. You're going to see what we're talking about. But unlike a, a radar detector, typical one that you put up on your own dashboard or, you know, yeah. suction cup to the windshield or whatever, these, it's what you don't see that counts, right? K40 specializes in hiding the stuff. Yeah, typically when people think of a radar detector, they think of that $79 black box yeah. that hangs on a windshield. And when you're driving an $80,000, $150,000, $250,000 vehicle, your, your goal is typically to uphold the integrity of the inside of the car, and that's what yeah. K40 offers. Uh -huh. So instead of that ugly black box, for people that are on the road um, interested in avoiding speeding tickets, because one in five drivers every year is susceptible and will receive a speeding ticket, Ow. Our, our goal is to help all drivers avoid that sure. uh, and, and doing it without a, an ugly black box. So our display is simple. It's two little blue LEDs that a custom installer at one of these specialty stores hides somewhere in or around the instrument cluster. And one of my favorite... So where the driver can see it, but mm -hmm. it's not obtrusive, it's not obvious, it's not it's something that you're seeing from outside the car. No, it looks like it came from the factory. And ah. one of my favorite installations is when the installer puts the little blue LEDs behind the turn signals. Yeah. So... Oh, if, that's yes. kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> so really, nobody sees it except for the driver. Mm. And then the control for the radar system is, for, from K40, a wireless RF remote control. And so that can be clipped on the visor, or you make the settings, and you throw it in the glove box. So really, you are not seeing anything inside the car. So then, again, we're used to, and I'm trying to sort of paint this picture not only for the radio audience, but yeah. for those watching on the video, we're used to, in most cases, I guess, or a lot of cases, this device on the dash. Yes. And maybe there's lights flashing, or it goes off, you know, you know, whatever different kinds of radar or, or laser. Of course, by laser, as a former cop, I can tell you, you pretty much have been hit <laughs> when Time it's to laser. Pull over, <laughs> right? Exactly. Might as well pull over. They yes. got you because it's very pinpoint. But whatever it is, you know, alarms go off and all kinds of stuff happens. But in this case, you don't see a box. You don't see anything but maybe these flashing LEDs. That's right. Which is warning enough to get your foot off the gas pedal a little, maybe. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and as a former officer, you know there's two ways to write speeding tickets. It's either with a police radar gun, which you don't have to be stationary. It's a big signal. There's yeah. three bands that are usually on the road today, X, K, or KA most commonly these days. Yeah. Uh, and then laser, which is the newest, and by new I mean like 93, 94 <laughs> is when it first came it's, out. It's sad in the technology world to consider that new, but you're right. Right. It's that the newest. Yeah. It's been pretty flat. Yeah. Um, but laser, we're talking about the speed of light. Mm. And so what K40 offers, now we know what the driver sees on the inside, which is two LEDs and a controller, 
But the technology that's hidden within the car is uh, two separate radar receivers. One gets installed behind the front bumper, a second radar detector receiver installed behind the rear bumper, oh. and it's designed to pick up just police radar frequencies, and our goal is to reject the rest. So not, not the uh, automatic doors opening yes. at the grocery store and all those problems. Right? It's so annoying yes. to have a system like that in your car and not know if it's a real police officer. So yeah. we reject all of, all of the things that we call false alerts so that um, you can drive with confidence knowing... Sure that it's a threat. And the reason why the front and rear is so special is now you also know if the officer's in front of you or behind, or behind you. you. So different lights will happen or do, does it also alarm if you choose to You're have an alarm? You're good at this job. Well, You're leading I, uh, me right to it. It's uh, like you've done this before. Uh, once or twice, yeah. So it's our 24th year, but once oh. or twice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you too. I mean, obviously you have a passion for what you're doing, yes. saving people from speeding tickets, and that's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so <laughs> the front radar, re thank you, the front radar receiver is actually connected to the LED that's on the left side of the instrument cluster. Okay. So you'll see it beep, 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 or blink, 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 <laughs> and you know that the officer is in front of you. If the LED on the right side of the instrument cluster is going off, we know the officer's behind you and you should speed off and turn right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we, I was just, officer, I was just going to the gas station and the guy in mm -hmm. front of me was so slow. I had to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Besides <laughs> radar, we also, actually K40 invented the first laser diffuser in 1994. A laser diffuser. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if you're going to like this, Mr. Os officer. Well. Hmm. So what a laser diffuser does is it receives a police laser signal. And then instead of sending that same signal back, which usually offers an instant speed reading, we send something back a little different. Like and something we can't say on the air? No. Oh, no. It <laughs> it's not maybe. a message. But oh, maybe. It's an <laughs> error reading. And oh. by can't say, so instead of the officer getting the instant speed reading, they get a zero reading or an error message, which buys the driver time to slow down. And because laser is governed by the FDA and not the FCC, there's no national or federal laws against... Ah, uh -huh. but are there some states? Kind of a bad boy uh, product. Yeah, well, but hey, kudos to you guys. You know, we there cover, are some we, states. We yes. cover all kind of tech. So, you know, in this case, there are some states that yes. prohibit radar detectors at all, two let alone states. something like this. Right? Yeah, so two states uh, prohibit radar detectors. Which ones? I don't want to live there. Virginia yeah. and Washington, D.C., oh. actually. And then laser, the laws you are a little bit different. You can't speed through Washington, D.C. anyway. That's what I was it's thinking. It's too much traffic, so right. what's the point, right? But otherwise, yeah. Hmm. So laser, it's a little bit different. There's a handful of states, and it's really nothing more than a traffic violation, uh, like a, a parking ticket. It doesn't. It's not a demerit against your insurance to get oh, a ticket okay. to have a laser diffuser. So, so not a, move, a, a moving, moving violation. A moving violation. No. It's, it's more slap on the wrist, parking ticket, pay the fine, That's stop right. it. Bas basically. <laughs> and we have settings to help avoid that altogether. Um, usually we recommend something called pulse transmit for our laser diffusers, which basically doesn't allow the officer a speed reading for five seconds, giving the driver five seconds to slow down. Uh, okay. And then allowing the officer a speed reading. After that five seconds, everybody's happy. Sure, everybody and hopefully the <laughs> everybody's K happy. Almost everybody. <laughs> and then uh, hopefully the K40 driver walks away without a ticket. Yes, because they but have if slowed they don't, down. Yes. Mm -hmm. If they don't. Wait, you're not going to pay their ticket, are you? Well, since 1983, we've had that guarantee. Really? Yeah. So if you do a K40 system and you still get a ticket, you're going to pay for it. That's right. Sweet. It's a put your money where your mouth is guarantee. and. Uh, the more asterisks you attach to a guarantee like that, the more gimmicky it sounds. Oh, yeah. So we so only have a few. A few asterisks. Okay. No DUI. Good. No DWI. Okay. No school zone. Ah, good. No construction zone. All right. So you're saving lives at the same time. Most saying people don't argue with that. Exactly. I mean, they can, but come on. You yeah. know, again, a judge is going to go, really? <laughs> you you want to get off and you were zipping through a school zone? That was one of the tickets I wrote more than anything because I, I had school-age kids at the time. Yes. And it was like, don't you dare speed through a school zone. We couldn't agree more. Ah, love it. Now, real quick, give our audience an idea as to the expense for these kinds of systems because they're going to be more than your dashboard radar detector. You're right. I, I, It's an interesting question that you ask, and it's hard to answer. No, the answer would be uh, another question. How much have you got? 
No, I, I probably kind not. Kind of. It, really? But let me mm. explain. Okay. Um, K40 has a, and I'll do this quickly, K40 has a, a K40 consult line, it's called, and um, customers and dealers can call us at any time. Mm -hmm. We have a K40 employee that answers that phone, and his job is solely to learn about the vehicle, the driving habits, and the location of said customer, make a recommendation based on the information received, and then refer them into one of our dealers. To a local dealer, right. We never quote price. Okay. And the reason we but don't... But maybe from and to, just again, you know, the audience sure, is, is screaming at me and say, come on, get a, get a number. I mean, hey, I is this something, that. if I spend a lot of money on a, on a new car, can I figure I can afford to do this or get that second mortgage and then afford to do it? I'm going <laughs> to give you a big range, but okay. there's a reason for that. The reason for the big range is, number one, our installer's labor rates are all different. Of course. And yeah. there's different tiers of installation. A uh, Ferrari installation is going to be different than an F-150, but the F-150 might require more product ah, to okay. cover the, the vehicle that size. Sure. So I'm going to give you a range anywhere from the high threes to five thousand dollars installed. The high threes meaning three. High three thousand. Three thousands up to five thousand. Yeah, I think that's a fair range. Okay, and I, I can understand that. Yeah. And again, for what you're getting out of it, including that, will pay your ticket guarantee. You do get a guarantee, and in, in that price point, you're looking at a quality installation from a specialist, uh, full front and rear radar protection and laser defense that meets the needs of your vehicle so and the type of driving you do. So Rachel, it's safe to say it's not meant for say the uh, the 1983 Camry. Hey, you never uh, know, uh, but, but right, if you win the lotto. That's right. <laughs> then of course, get a new car and then get the K40 system in it. It's meant for people that are on the road a lot. Oh, ah, there you go. We're all susceptible to tickets. Remember that one in five number that we mentioned earlier. Yeah. It's, it's people that are spending a lot of time on the road you don't have to have a Ferrari to not want a black box hanging on your windshield. Good point. So for the most, obviously, most advanced police radar detector and laser detector system, you want to check out Rachel's site, K40.com. K40.com. Does that mean anything, the K and the 40? Uh, something uh, about mountains and a great party back in the 80s. Don't I don't know. <laughs> I I'm like not it. sure. I like Rachel. She's fun <laughs> to chat you. with. By all means. And thank you for spending a few minutes I with us here at Knowledge Fest. I appreciate the opportunity. Fest. Thanks. Well, now I understand why there's so many people at your exhibit saying, oh, this is so cool. Thank you. And why Chris ran over and shot video to share with us. Mm -hmm. uh, love thank it. Thank you. I'm Dave Graveline. We'll link you, of course, to Rachel's site and all of our guests when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Meantime, more from Dallas, Texas and Knowledge Fest here on the Advanced Media Network. Don't go away. <laughs>